Tesla just released an all new Model Y, but it's not the one we were expecting. This was a surprise. In fact, Tesla may be planning seven other big surprises for 2024 that will shock owners and potential owners around the world. We're talking more new colors, new discounts, new models, and just some all new features that no one saw coming. So let's break down seven of Tesla's biggest surprise announcements we could see in 2024 and all of the great new things coming to Tesla's around the world. And a big thanks to Ground News for sponsoring this video. One of the first big surprises of this year is almost guaranteed to happen to a certain extent, so it shouldn't be super shocking, but it's still gonna be really uh, very much well received by many of us. And that is finally some all new colors coming to the Model 3 and Model Y. Europe has Quicksilver and Midnight Chair. Many countries around the world have the all-new Ultra Red and Stealth Gray on the Highland Model 3, but here in the United States, the Model 3 and Model Y have not gotten any color change at all over the last couple of years. It's been the same red, blue, white, black, gray. Those five colors have existed for years with no significant change until now. The launch of this all new Model 3 here in the US is happening really, really soon. In fact, we just got some drone footage over the Fremont factory in California showing what appears to be a test production of these cars built here in the USA, ready to hopefully be launching to customers soon. And along with this all new Model 3 that in and of itself packs amazing features like the RGB ambient lighting, the new design, you got the better sound system, all that stuff, but also two brand new colors. Finally. Now, while we have had Ultra Red and Stealth Gray available as some free options for the S and the X for a while now, these colors are finally making their way down in the Model 3 line with the launch of this all new Model 3, including a really cool um, performance model that should be launching very soon. And while they won't be free, like on the S and the X, there's still gonna be some all new colors that I think many are finally happy to see some sort of change here in the United States. Okay, but while that's good for the Model 3, what about the Model Y? This model is also in desperate need of some all new colors. No color change has come to the Model Y since it launched back in 2020, but luckily that has now changed. We had heard rumblings that Tesla might be working on some all new colors for the Model Y, and then surprise, they gave us an announcement dropping two new colors or two familiar colors for the Model Y that would be ultra red and stealth gray. Yes, the all new colors that are on the Highland Model 3 and those colors that should be coming to the Model Y Juniper Refresh are now here on the current Model Y for a price, sort of. If you wanna go Stealth Gray, which looks fantastic, this is actually included as a free option, so no additional charge. You get a beautiful new rich color. And Ultra Red, which I think is great, it's a great replacement to the Multicoat Red, which I have on the Model Y, I love it, but I love the Ultra Red on the X even more, and it's gonna be great on the Model Y. It's gonna be $2,000, which in my opinion, I think is very well worth it. It's a beautiful, dark, rich color that uh, just make this Model Y feel fresh, new, and really exciting. And I will talk a little bit later about the Model Y Juniper refresh and all the big upgrades we could see, but technically this is an all new Model Y. We've now got some all new colors and I think this might even be the 2024 uh, year VIN model as well. There had been some rumors that maybe Tesla would make some additional changes mirroring that of what they've done in China. So would have been nice for us to get the RGB ambient lighting and maybe get some new uh, wheel covers on the outside, but Tesla's in a bit of a difficult situation right now. They really can't do anything until we get the new Model 3 Highland launch in the US. So it seems like this is sort of a stop gap right now. Tesla is giving us some new colors on the Model Y to make that more appealing and at the same time sort of waiting for the Highland refresh to launch in the US before potentially making other big moves. But I also should mention that these might not be the end of new colors we could see because there are rumors that even more new colors could be coming to the Model Y here in the United States. We've heard some rumblings for a while and even some evidence to suggest that Tesla is working on some all new colors for the Model Y at Giga Texas. I think for many of us, that would definitely make the Model Y a bit more appealing, especially as we wait for the refresh. And speaking of appealing, the second big surprise we may see from Tesla sometime this year are some all new features, like potentially the addition of ambient lighting in all of their vehicles and the activation of a front bumper camera across the Tesla lineup. Now, as we talk through all this Tesla news, I think that most of us as Tesla owners and enthusiasts 
know the media's coverage of the company is, well, far from unbiased, which is sort of the case for all news these days. It's impossible to consult a single source for the full story, which is why I have been using and absolutely loving Ground News. It's a website and app that shows you the bias behind breaking news and helps you keep yourself updated on the topics you care about without that media spin. In fact, with Ground News, it's exposed for you to see for yourself. For example, here's a story us Tesla owners are all too familiar with over the last couple of weeks. Everyone's been talking about it. It's that very scary Tesla recall the media had an absolute field day with. Ground News does a great job of breaking this down, giving you insight beyond the headlines. They're giving you the real story. I love that I can see here it was covered by 382 news sources, which is great, but I can also see that bias distribution, letting me know the political leaning of the news sources covering this story. I can also scroll down here and see the headlines, a bit of a blurb from each of the different sources to sort of see how that spin is going to go. And also I can see some info on the right that's going to show me the reliability of the source, their political leaning, and even the ownership of the source too. And I feel like a lot of people don't know there's like all these major media conglomerates all over the world sort of connected with the ground news. It's fully transparent. And if I come back up to the top, I can click on bias insights and then get a bit of a blurb of the uh, different spins from the left, center, and right as they're highlighting here with this particular story. So I can see here on the left, they're emphasizing the potential impact of the recall on the progression of Tesla self-driving features, while the center and right are much more discussing the difficulties and the logistics of the sort of safety aspect and what's involved with a recall of this nature. The insight here from Ground News is simply incredible. And to be clear, this isn't just Tesla news. It's every topic of news you'd want to have sort of uh, up-to-date info on. It's science, it's politics, finance, environment, tech, and so much more. So if you want to learn more about my go-to news source, hit the link down below in the description or head to ground.news slash Robert. You can check it out for yourself and you can subscribe through my special link down below for as little as $1 a month or even better yet, get 30% off unlimited access through the Vantage subscription. That is what I am using and loving every single day. And also just know that when you subscribe, you're not only supporting me and this channel and future endeavors, but you're also supporting an independent platform that is really trying to make the news more transparent, which I think we can all get behind and appreciate, especially these days. So again, hit the link down below to learn more or to ground.news slash Robert. Tesla seems to be positioning these two features as new staple features for the entire lineup. Right now, uh, only the Cybertruck has both the RGB ambient lighting and the front bumper camera, but some uh, older renders had showed us, and even some other Model X alleged leaks, that Tesla is looking to bring this to the entire lineup, or at least their new current lineup. So new Model Y, new Model 3, S, X, and Cybertruck would all have RGB ambient lighting on the inside and the front bumper camera on the outside, giving us some all new features features across the board, which will be really nice to see. Obviously, the RGB ambient lighting is nice, sort of customize that to your heart's content, but that front bumper camera is interesting for a couple of reasons. One is that, well, it's nice to be able to see the front of the car, especially as the vision system is not known for its reliability, though it has been getting better, having a clear shot of what's in front of your car will be very nice to see. Also, since Tesla just released that new high fidelity park assist feature, having higher fidelity, more cameras for that system to work with should give you more accurate results when trying to park. And also maybe, just maybe, the inclusion of that front bumper camera could allow Tesla to activate some sort of top-down view or bird's eye view. Recently, when I tested a Rivian R1T, I really love this feature. I think Tesla has got to bring it to their lineup. And maybe with the inclusion of this front bumper camera, there is a way for Tesla to finally make a feature like this possible across the lineup in our Teslas. Another change we could see in 2024 would be shocking to some, not super shocking to others, is the return of the federal tax credit, that good old $7,500 to the Model 3, specifically the standard range rear-wheel drive model and the long-range model, both of which lost all of their eligibility on January 1st of this year. There's definitely a chance this doesn't happen, but we have seen in the past some reshuffling on the part of Tesla or the federal government or both that sort of um, changes the guidance and the rules on what applies and what doesn't to get those incentives back on vehicles. And there is definitely a chance that we could see some guidance changes that make those vehicles once again eligible for that federal incentive or maybe even half of it at 3750. I'm not uh, counting it out as a possibility for 2024. Another big surprise feature that we've been hearing about for a while that may finally come to all Teslas and really be a game changer when it launches 
is the release of an official Tesla app store. Now, I know there has been so much talk for years now that Tesla needs to adopt car player Android Auto, and I've shown some workarounds in previous videos. You can check those out down below. But I think what most people want isn't so much car player Android Auto, but it's apps and features and different things you can't get with the native Tesla software, which is where the App Store would make so much sense. Just like you can get access to Apple Podcasts, Apple Music, the MyQ integration, having an App Store on your Tesla could open up so many possibilities, whether you want to change your maps over to Waze, whether you want to order food from your Tesla, a new game, a new media feature, an App Store, like it sort of changed our phones, would be a really big deal for our cars, not only allowing us more opportunities and new features, but also a way for Tesla to make some money. If they sort of uh, follow the route of Apple or Google, they could allow developers to charge some money for this, take like a 20 to 30% cut, and everybody wins. We get new features in our Tesla and don't have to rely on Tesla to update those features. Developers make money, Tesla makes money. It's a win-win all around. We for Tesla has been working on this at least since 2020 or 2021, so it's been a while now, and hopefully something we see very, very soon. I'm crossing my fingers, hoping this is the year it finally comes. I also think we could see some Cybertruck surprises in 2024 as well that could sort of change things in a couple of ways. Something we may see is that Tesla finally drops their Foundation series, which I know people are excited about this. You get the cool badging and the features, but at a price premium of $20,000 extra, no way to opt out, um, it's a lot more for what some people don't think is really worth it. And maybe this year we see Tesla finally drop that for better or worse and then allow you to buy an 80 or $100,000 Cybertruck at 80 or 100,000, not 100 or 120. So that might be something we see. Also, the rollout of availability for ordering is something we continue to track. Tesla continues to send waves out to people. I think we're up to seven or eight waves where people are getting the emails to configure. In 2024, this may change where either Tesla continues to send more waves or they open up ordering for whoever is ready and willing to spend the money to get their truck. Right now, we know they're prioritizing the dual motor. Then we'll see the Cyber Beast sometime this year. It's a little confusing on the rollout and location and stuff like that, but uh, 2024 is definitely going to be a big year for the truck, and hopefully it's going to be a year that it's a little easier to order one, and hopefully a little less expensive to order a Cybertruck too. And of course, I cannot end the video without one of the other big surprises we should see in 2024, and that is the launch of the Model Y Juniper Refresh. Now, the good news here is that this refresh not only is going to be amazing, new design, new sound system, uh, you've got better uh, premium materials, a Model Y performance, which should be a screamer. It's going to be amazing, but also it's coming way sooner than we thought. The original rumors on this had the sort of releasing at the end of 2024, early 2025, at least a solid 12 months away, but now we're hearing that things are on track for an earlier release where at least Giga Shanghai in China is preparing for a mass production to begin in the first half, or I should say basically by the halfway point of the year, mid-2024, these should be sort of flying out of Giga Shanghai and hopefully available in different parts of the world around that time as well. Now, because the rollout of the Model 3 Highland has been so weird and it's out in some places, not in others, it's hard to predict when we could see the Model Y Juniper launch in the US, but at least in certain parts of the world, it looks likely that by mid-2024, that car will be released and hopefully... Fingers crossed by the end of 2024, early 2025 is something we see in the US, or maybe Tesla scraps that plan and they actually build the Model Y at Giga Texas at the same time they're building it in China, so we get it way sooner. It's really hard to know. What is very weird though is that because the Model Y is a hot selling car, it's Tesla's most popular model right now, to have this all new Model 3 with new colors and amazing features compared to an old and dated Model Y isn't a great look. And if I had to guess, Tesla is doing everything they can to get that Model Y ready as soon as possible so they can have two brand new amazing cars and not just one. All right, so I'm curious, what are your thoughts on Tesla's potential surprises for 2024? What do you think we'll see this year? Wishing you all a very happy new year. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you for watching, commenting. And if you made it this far at the end of the video, I want you to know two things. One is, well, I guess three things. One, Thank you very much. Two is that if you didn't know, I do a weekly Tesla newsletter I send out to my group of enthusiasts. It's totally free. I do a deep dive into different stories and I do some little insights. It's a really cool newsletter, totally free. You can check it out down below. It's called uh, Tesla News Weekly at the appropriate URL of teslanewsweekly.com. 
And if you made it this far at the end of the video, drop a comment down below and let me know your favorite Tesla color, whether it's a current color, an older color, like the old silver they used to do, or if it's a color you'd like to see, let me know down below and I will do some Amazon gift card giveaways uh, as a thank you because I appreciate you guys so much. Again, just as a disclaimer, I'm not gonna contact you on Telegram. Please do not fall for anyone impersonating me on Telegram. It's a horrible problem that YouTube does not address and I get uh, emails and questions about that every day. So I'm not gonna message you on Telegram. It's gonna be the official me. If you wanna know and get in touch with me, you can email me or go to X or Instagram and get in touch with my official account if you got a question. Um, but yeah, I'll reply to your comment and we can figure it out. As always, thank you guys so much for your support. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. I'm Robert Rosenfeld and I'll see you all in the next one.